Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to turn our attention to men's basketball. I'm joined by assistant coach Josh Fleming. And coach, welcome to the show. Thank you. Obviously, uh, life on the road, as we mentioned with the women's segment, uh, never easy here in the GLIAC. And two tough opponents this past weekend uh, that uh, both played pretty well at home in Wayne State and Saginaw Valley. Yeah, they sure did. Um, Wayne State, we got off to a pretty good start there and then kind of took a sigh of relief once we went up about 10, 15 or whatever it was. And then they came storming back. I mean, credit to them for making the plays that they made. But, I mean, we, we didn't finish the game the way that we wanted to, but we were lucky to get away with a win. Obviously, uh, right now, 16-4 and four overall as you come back home this week and still in very good position in terms of uh, a lot of uh, what's at stake uh, here at the end of the year. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's, it's difficult because we, uh, you usually want to be in position to control your own destiny at the end. But, I mean, now we kind of got to depend on some teams to beat some other teams. So, hopefully, I mean, hopefully things fall into place. But all we can really do is just take care of what we can do. As we go to the highlights, we'll start with uh, the game at Wayne State on Thursday. And uh, obviously going uh, to Detroit, always a good nucleus of uh, Bulldog fans that are there and a lot of former players that were in the building. Yeah, absolutely. I ran, ran into a lot of my former teammates, uh, one of my former players, Logan Ryan, uh, James Chappelle, Jerry Stoliker, Jabril Jackson, my former teammates, uh, Drew Lehman in the building. So shout out to those guys. Uh, it's always, always fun to play in the D. But um, this time, I mean, I don't know, we kind of kind of had our work cut out for us. Wayne's got a lot of young talent, um, a veteran guy that had a good game against us. So they're going to be they're going to be trouble for some teams moving forward. Obviously had a strong first half, uh, but they uh, you know, certainly had uh, some stretches uh, in here as well where they were able to keep it close on you in the first half. Yeah, they were. They um, they kind of we could never really blow up the lead the way that we really wanted to. I mean, credit to them for getting the stops and also converting on the other end. but. I mean, we we were resilient though. We kept we kept pushing, and I mean, we ended up when we were leading by ten at half, I believe. So, I mean, we tried our best, and so did they. Uh, obviously, this past weekend, uh, both games uh, minus uh, Amari Lee and Reese Hazelton both out with injury. How much did that really kind of impact the lineup? Uh, I I think it impacted us quite a bit. I mean, we had a few guys playing more minutes than they usually do. Uh, a couple of different lineup combinations and. Those are two of our very important players. Amari's one of our better defensive players. He's a great point guard. He moves the ball really well, pushes our pace. And Reese is kind of our, uh, he's like our spiritual leader, you know what I mean? And he, I mean, it's tough not having him out there. He's physical, rebounds a lot. And I mean, he was scoring for us really well earlier this year. So hopefully we can get those guys back soon. Had a 17 point lead at one stage uh, here in the second half, but uh, they certainly rallied, uh, hit some shots down the stretch to uh, eventually draw back within a possession. Yeah, basketball is crazy like that. Like, so it's like human nature. Once you get a decent lead like that in the second half, you kind of naturally just take a sigh of relief and take your foot off the gas while the team on the other end is doing the opposite. They want to do whatever they can to make it a closer game and give themselves a chance to win. But, I mean, we were, we were able to hold on. 79-75 the final. Got some big baskets down the stretch from Ben Davidson, who really played well uh, over the weekend for you. Yeah, Ben stepped up in a major way this weekend. He, um, he, he got hot down there at Wayne, kind of carried it over to Saginaw, so hopefully that's a sign of good things to come from him. As we go to the highlights of Saturday's game, taking on Saginaw Valley, never easy to play there, and uh, been some great battles over the years, going back to even when you played at Ferris State against the Cardinals. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, the last one, last one I played there was kind of painful. We had ourselves a big lead and ended up giving it away, and I mean, this game, we never really had a lead. Credit to Saginaw, they came out ready to play. Uh, that three-headed monster there of theirs is, I mean, if those guys are hitting like that, they're going to be tough to beat for anybody. And, I mean, you found out the hard way. Obviously, uh, here in the first half, fell behind early. Uh, Ethan Erickson with a three right there as you were able to cut into the lead a little bit. And uh, kind of the, one of those uh, first halves where they had different stretches where they really extended the lead. Yeah. Um, and I think, I mean, not to take anything away from them, but I think we helped them with that. We gave up, I think we had 10 first half turnovers in which they had 17 points from finished the game with 16 turnovers and they scored 23 of them. So, I mean, it's tough. It's tough when you give up points off of turnovers like that. It's tough when you turn the ball over because we shot well enough to win the game and we just weren't getting the shots. We were just giving them the ball. So hopefully we can be better moving forward. Obviously, uh, you mentioned shoot, shot the ball well enough. Uh, the score right now, uh, down 22 at halftime, but the percentages were pretty even between the two teams. Yeah, I mean, when, when we were getting shots off, they were, they were going in. Ben, ben came out hot, started off hot, and kept it going throughout the game. Ethan was hitting his shots. So, I mean, it's just, it's just tough when you're battling back from 22 points down. It's, uh, I mean, especially when we're not getting stops on the other end and they're still scoring. 
It's hard. It's hard to make that make that comeback. Obviously, one of those games where they shot a ton of free throws, nearly 50 free throws. You guys uh, down though, but uh, your kids really uh, responded here in the second half and uh, eventually cut it down to single digits again. That's uh, one of one of my favorite qualities of our team. Next to the unselfishness, is they don't they don't give up. They fight until the end. And I mean, whether we get the result that we want or not, I mean, it is what it is. We'll shake their hands and move on. But these guys these guys fight. They don't lay down. So I love that about them. How important is it after a, a game like this maybe to put this one behind you quickly and uh, move on to the next game? Yeah, we just had a little film session yesterday and kind of ironed some things out, um, got on the floor and put in some work. So I think I think it's behind us now. I mean, it better be at least we got number one Northern Michigan coming in. So you got to be ready for that game. Obviously, you mentioned Northern Michigan on Thursday night and uh, Saturday uh, taking on Michigan Tech, two teams you just saw a few weeks ago and the, you certainly know them very well. Yeah, absolutely. Northern Michigan, uh, they've got – two uh, young special players and they're very good players in our league and I mean will be for the foreseeable future but I mean we we need we need this game and uh, Michigan Tech I mean we were uh, Ethan Erickson three-pointer away from going 0-2 on that trip and I mean that's that's a tough trip to win on it's tough to beat those teams they're well coached and they play well together but Hopefully, hopefully we can get it done this weekend. As you hit the month of February, how nice is it to have, uh, I think, six or seven home games left? Uh, you got a couple close road games to Grand Valley and Davenport, so uh, not a lot of travel uh, here in this final month of the regular season. Yeah, it'll be a lot easier on my back. I was My back was sore for like two weeks after that uh, UP trip. I just got over it. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing some home games, getting in front of our home crowd. So if you're watching this, make it, all, make it on out to the games. We mentioned uh, fans uh, encouraged to wear black for a blackout on – Thursday night, then wear red for the annual red out game on, on Saturday and a chance to watch the team on two different uniform uh, combinations here this weekend. Absolutely. Yeah, we are. Uh, so I'm guessing we're going to be in our black uniforms here <laughs> on Thursday. So, I mean, our home fans don't usually get to see us wear those. So come check us out. Well, Coach, thanks for the time and uh, best of luck. Uh, here's your host, Northern Michigan, Michigan Tech this coming weekend. Thanks, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.